So hey guys, I'm Sid and today I'm at the Mercedes-Benz Silverstar showroom which is located at Kolhapur. I'm going to shoot the Mercedes-Benz VLC here right now. Now it's a diesel variant. So without wasting a further, uh, without wasting many more time, let's go start the further video. So before starting an actual video, I would like to give a word of thanks for the Silverstar Mercedes uh, showroom who allowed me to make a video on it. Now basically this showroom is located in Kolhapur. This is a service station. So now let's start the further video. So first I will look at the key. This is the key of this Mercedes-Benz GLC. You have a lock function, unlock function and the boot release button. So you get this uh, beautiful stylish key for this car. Now let's straight away move towards the engine bay first. So now you get two engine options for the GLC. Now basically GLC comes in uh, two, uh, two engine options. One is a petrol and one is a diesel. Now the, it has got 2 liter diesel engine which produces about 194 bhp of power and 400 Nm of torque uh, from 1600, uh, 1600 rpm to uh, 2800 rpm mated with 9G electronic uh, automatic gearbox and it also gets a 2 liter petrol engine which produces about 197 uh, uh, brake horsepower and 320 Nm of torque from uh, 1650 rpm to the 4000 rpm mated with same 9G electronic. 9 tronic automatic gearbox now for the mileage for the petrol engine is about 12.7 12 12.75 uh, kmpl and for the uh, diesel engine is about 13.5 kmpl so it comes with the 66 liters of fuel tank capacity both for the petrol and for the diesel as well now you have got the engine cover and with the mercedes benz logo as well you also have got the hydraulic struts and the insulation of uh, for this car it has got the long hood so now let's straight away move towards the exterior and the interior of this car so you have the Mercedes Benz logo here underneath you also have being Mercedes Benz logo for the grill with the chrome garnishing and also for the silver accents this is the mesh grill you can see underneath the grill you do have the number plate area and skid plate like finish with the chrome surroundings so coming to here you have got the uh, digital LED uh, LED performance lights from the Mercedes see uh, it also uh, they have also the LED high performance embossing over here and you also have the Mercedes Benz embossing so this is actually how the headlight housing uh, looks like underneath you have the parking sensors you can see so this is where you have the tow hook so this is how the actual mercedes benz looks like now you also have got the front camera over here which is situated underneath the big mercedes logo so this is how the actual mercedes benz GLC looks like from the front now let's take them towards the side now coming to the side now this car has got a beautiful diamond cut alloy wheels now the tire size of this car uh, of the GLC is about to 35 uh, 55 or 19 inches you get the 19 inches of the wheels for this car with the disc brake at the front as well and you get the suspension with the dynamic body control for the rear as well as for the front you also have the side cladding so this is how actual the uh, size of the wheel of a Mercedes Benz GLC looks like or is available now coming to here you get the electric folding VMs with the camera as well as the puddle lamp feature so this is how it looks so these are the things you also get the run board you can see or the foot step if you want to climb if your height is short and if you want to go enter in the car you also get the chrome strip which runs across the window pane okay you can see over here you also have got the roof rails they are not functional they are the looks so it is also finished in chrome you also get the chrome door handles and you also have passive enter functions so this is how the actual GLC looks from the side. I come into here, you get the rain sensing, automatic rain sensing wipers. So the sensors are located over here. We sense the rain and then the wiper will operate. Now basically, after just before a few minutes, the rain has, uh, there was a raining in Kolapur. That's why the car is a bit wet. Now you get the 66 liters of fuel tank capacity, both for the diesel as well as for the petrol. Now coming down over here. So this is the Mercedes. You also get the sorry, the rear tire size of the Mercedes uh, of the GLC is about 235, 55 or 19 inches, same as the front. And you get the alloy wheels with the disc brake at the rear as well, and the suspension with the dynamic body control. Now coming back over here, you have the formatic badging, which defines that this, uh, which refers that this is uh, Mercedes with a four wheel drive. And now uh, this is the formatic badging. Here you have the beautiful LED tail lamps. Also coming over here you have the thin Mercedes Benz logo which looks very quiet though, and also feels uh, very luxurious. You also get the rear wiper with the defogger and washer, I'm on stop lamp. You also have the panoramic sunroof, I hope you can see it. Now coming down here, here you have the GLC 220D badging. If you opt for petrol it will come 200. So this is how the actual GLC looks like from the rear. Now coming down you also do get the, this is the number plate area with the number plate lights and you have the uh, reverse camera from here. 
Now you also get the parking sensors either here and you have the exhaust system. Let me show you. Where's the exhaust? This is a fake, fake uh, exhaust housing over here. And you do get exhaust over there. It's a single piece exhaust. So the exhaust is situated underneath, I think, over here. I hope you can see. So this is the exhaust of this car. So this is how the actual car looks like. Now I want to tell you one feature that this car also has got the uh, gesture control for the bootlet, but it only operates when the car is locked. So that's the one thing to get, uh, note down. Now let's enter into the car. So getting in and out of this car is quite easy because if you're short, don't worry, you do have footstep. Now you have the Mercedes-Benz cuff plate. So coming over here. So these are the controls for your windows and for the ORVMs as well. And you have this is the Burmaster surround system that you do get in this Mercedes-Benz. You have the power adjustable seats for the driver. And this is to lock and unlock the door. This is to open the door. Now you have the slat uh, aluminum finish, which runs across many of the parts of this car. So let me shut the door first. So I will on the. So this is how the Mercedes interface looks like when you step in the car. So it's just on the car right now. So this is how the actual car looks like from the inside. Now you get this 12 inch of the instrument cluster which is shows the each and everything information that you needed. Now on the left hand side you have the speedometer. On the right hand side you have the tachometer with the g-force meter as well. So that's a good thing. Now you can just toggle through the trackpad uh, with a haptic uh, you can see uh, feedback. So this is a trackpad. Not this is not the button. It's so it just track but you can just use it so let me show you how it operates okay this is how you can change the infotainment system and the right hand side dial navigation now just i'll switch over here i'll change now it uh, shows the speed from reset from start each and everything eco uh, if you want the bonus start for the car you launch the car if you want to launch the car the range the consumption of the car consumption of the fuel by the car sorry my bad now coming back over here now it shows a trip again if you want to just opt for navigation it shows the direction of the travel previous directions circling left there where you have been driven around this car or want to drive or each and everything so coming over here it shows the radio media telephone design you can change the design the way you want now it's the sport design the classic looks like this and the progressive looks like this so I opt for sport this is how it offers now coming back again let's see trip assistance so it shows assistance of this car okay last break every each and everything this car will offer uh, will tell you each and everything thing each and everything that you do with this car while driving either on halt everything it will not any um, hide anything from you now you also get the uh, tilt and telescopic steering wheel now it's the manual adjustable steering wheel quite good now you have the electric for electric operated seats for the driver and for the co-driver as well now coming from the coming to by uh, coming back to the center console you get this beautiful 10.25 inch of the mbux means mercedes-benz user experience uh, infotainment system touchscreen system which uh, gives you information each and everything so it is also supported the android or apple carplay coming back let me go for the home it shows the media comfort you can see now you also get the massaging seats for the for front to passengers means for the driver and for the co-driver you can just vibe massage or the pulsating machine each and everything and it's just soothing man oh wow. what the fuck? it shows how it looks if you want to off the car you can off high seat comfort you if you want the if you want to adjust the lumbar support side bolsters reset if you want to reset the setting you can and both for the driver and for the co-driver as well the ambient lighting you get the 64 colors of the ambient lighting you can switch and you can also access the brightness now coming back i have forgot to tell you the safety feature now safety feature for this car is that it gets the seven airbags and also there is one knee airbag over here which adds the safety for the driver when you hit the car or when you met to an accident and also it gets the abs plus abd that each and everything and active brake assist everything that this car needs uh seat comfort lumbar side bolsters massage muscle function is on and it's quite soothing man so coming down here you have these three air vents with the silverish finish and you also see it has a learning okay let me zoom in first i will come to know this 
attention to detail done by the mercedes benz it's quite it, the, the small things now the mercedes has had paid attention to the each and everything each and everything may it be a small may it be a big to make it feel luxurious when you enter in this car when you drive this and it will surely put your smile on your face when you drive this car or only you will sit in this car it's just damn cool now coming down here these are the controls for media and for this now you get the dual zone climate control so you can just adjust the uh, zone the way you want or you can just sync it now coming here these are the shortcut key buttons for the infotainment systems around uh, underneath this you have the two cubby holes with this mercedes bench ashtray you can see but i will tell that i will prefer that don't smoke because it's very injurious to health you also get wireless charging pad with usb socket over here coming down here this you have the trackpad for this Mm, uh, infotainment system now you can operate the infotainment system by three ways first one is the steering monitor control second one by touch and third one by this trackpad this sorry by this trackpad we have got this black ash awkward finish which looks very uh what you can say a prime or the luxurious feeling so here you can just on the parking assistance of this car okay it will show you can choose angle of the camera you get this 60 degree camera you can just adjust the way you want and it will help you uh, to park the car in uh, very tight spots you also have got the traction control on off system so okay it will just mention over here traction control on traction control off okay now for here it shows the manual mode i think now this is the on and off the parking sensors and here this is a mode selector so if you want you can just you have got the four modes eco comfort sport and individual so drive the way you want at which mode you wish now here also these are this is a volume knob which controls the volume of this car uh, okay so this is how the entire interface of the dashboard looks like now coming back you have the silverish finish and they have used the soft touch of materials the quality of the materials is top notch you get this frameless IVM which looks very dope it's auto dimming IVM we also have got this lights over here let me just on it if i can you have got this uh, sunglass holder over here and these are the lights i think so they're beautiful lights okay and you also get this panoramic sunroof okay it just it looks very cool man it's very cool looks dope now coming over here you get the vanity mirror with the light sunshade with the vanity mirror and light for the driver Sunshade with the vanity mirror for the co-driver as well. So these are the things. Now you have good amount of the glove box. Now you have the two stage glove box. You have double deck. One is over here. If you want to keep small things, you can keep the small things on the books over here. And the bigger thing, big items such as water bottle or anything else, if you want, you can keep over here. You also have good amount of the you can say door pockets where you can fit about half liter of uh, bottle of a half liter. You have this subwoofer at the front, and you get this bar master system. So these are the things. Now coming over on the right hand side, and this, sorry, these are the uh, controls for your lights, and for the uh, this is for the brightness as well. And you have the little parking brake which is situated at the awkward place. But let me show you. Uh, this is the little parking brake of this car, and here you have beautiful engine start stop button. Okay, and you have diamond lighting. You must be seeing. See, diamond light, diamond lighting looks so dope, man. So these are the things. Now the seats are quite comfortable and Mercedes. Now the things that I forget to tell you is this. Uh, these are the toggles for your wiper and for the lights. I think. So turn button navigation. Uh, sorry, if you switch this button, it will activate the wipers, or else indicator, and rear wiper as well. Let me show you whether it's operating or not. Okay. So this is how so and you also get the paddle shifters yes if when you are alone drive the switch on the sport mode of the traction control get your controls on this manual paddle shifter and just drive like a pleasure now you don't get in flat bottom steering wheel it's a single piece steering wheel with this brown finish not the black but it's a little bit brown which looks very impressive and also luxury feels a richness mercedes logo and this interface you also have the hey mercedes app over here oh uh, sorry hey mercedes interface and also you have the mercedes connect so 
and here you have the gas letter the main part this is the this is the only car or the only company in this entire world who uses this conventional gas letter because if you saw the cars which were available before means at the starting gauge when the car was just invented at that time they were using the gas letter was over this steering column now everyone has shifted their gear shifters from here to the central console but the only mercedes is the only one company which has a gas letter over here so these are the things now if you want to open the tailgate uh, you have the uh, button over here and it's the electric, op electric opening so now I will just off the car and we will sit at the rear and we'll check out uh, what are the things that this car offers for the rear passengers so this is how getting in and out of this car is quite easy not difficult see it's started raining again then also I am filming for you so I am at the rear seat. Rear seat comfort is by God, it's so comfier. So now I am at the rear, rear seat of this car, and the comfort of this seat is very top notch. It is, it feels very comfier when you sit in this car. I don't want to get out of it, but and really you can use this car for the chauffeur driven as well. But basically, they say we are driven by the people, not, and they are not being used as a chauffeur driven car except the sedans. So these are the things I will show you each and everything of this car at the rear. So just stay tuned. Now coming over here, you have these AC controls, beautiful AC controls. Now before watching all this video, please stay subscribed to my channel. Subscribe the, uh, hit the subscribe button. And I also made the video of the GLC Coupe as well as the Mercedes S Class. The link is at the top, uh, top right, at the top of the right, uh, right hand corner of the screen. So this is what it all offers. Now underneath for the amenities, you have got two USB charging socket and one conventional. 12 volt charging socket sorry for this key mm. and one thing that i further just forgot to mention you that this has got this beautiful big armrest and you also have storage underneath the armrest so it shows it's a bit deep and you also have two charging ports over here so you can see two usb port you can zoom it and you have the two usb ports over here so this is how the actual um uh, storage space is there underneath the armrest coming back now you have the magazine holder for both the seats over here now sitting of the two people is more way more comfortable rather than um, sitting for the three people because you have the huge center tunnel and the cushioning of the seat for the middle passenger is not that good as compared to the both the seats so you have this well, you can see what uh, you have this armrest now the one best thing that they have kept the you, uh, what you can say uh, this cup holders you are situated uh, underneath or the middle of the armrest rather than situating over here if they situated if they place the cup holders over here then it obstructs the uh, comfort of this of your hand because it will hurt over here for the wrist so there's one feature that they have given the cup holders over here so that's a very good and they are very handy to use as well now these are things you also get this uh, isofix child mounts with the seat belt anchor points the seat belt anchor points isofix child mounts that's a very good feature to have on offer seats are way more comfier now here also you have this panoramic roof now this is now uh, it's a basically sing, it's not single piece panoramic sunroof it is divided between see you can see this is a normal this is normal sunroof you can see over here and this is the just a fixed single pin roof uh, glass roof or you can say the moon roof so just see the blind gets completely hidden over here i'll just uh so these are the things now these are the no there are some thing remaining now you do get the sun blinds which are manual controlled manually but which add on the feature you know, the bar master systems now these are the controls to open the window this is to open the door and you have the central locking system and these are the overall things you also have airbag over here seven airbags that's a very good feature because master is also known for its comfort so these are the things now let's get towards the rear the boot of this car I'm gonna check it out. What is the boot of this car? Now, before going out, the uh, telling about the boot, I will tell just quickly give the infographic of this dimension of this car. That this car, the length of this car is about 4.6 meter. The height is about 1.6 meter. The width is 1.8 meter, and the wheelbase is about 2873 mm. So these are the things. So now we'll just open the boot. So it gets electric folding, electric operated tailgate with the uh, gesture control. Now you have uh, you have got the 550 liters of uh, boot space now these are the buttons to just you have uh, if you want to fold the seats you have the parcel shelf it's the retractable uh, parcel shelf so if you want to use it just 
or you can say stretch it out and lock it over here you also have got the sh mm, shopping bag hooks so if you want to keep the shopping bag so that you are you know you can say the things will won't get spread up over here and you also have the spare wheel and some space so you can keep some things over here as well so the loading lip is not high it's plain so you will just you can just glide the things when you want it and you also have got the boot lights and not only one you have got two boot lights so these are the things that this car offers for the rear now you have got the net over here with some mercedes to first aid kit and you also have the tire and anchor points over here and this is in alcantara beautiful alcantara, alcantara finish so see how it is so these are the things now let's i'll shut the door of this car so okay this is how the actual car looks like so this was all about the mercedes benz glc so hey guys this was all about the mercedes benz glc uh, glc diesel now it is the 220d and i hope you enjoyed this video if you enjoyed it please do like hit the subscribe button also don't forget to press the bell notification so that you won't miss a single upload now before actually if you want to buy any of the mercedes car if you are in pune or in kolapur then do visit the mercedes benz silver star showroom they will give you good car and the service of the showroom is also good so this is the mercedes benz glc so I so I hope you enjoy this. Till then, rest of the rest of take care. I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.